In this video, we're going to compare four different types of glass lenses for ease of igniting ordinary copy paper on fire and full sun. And then we're going to also compare that to uh, two standard uh, magnifying glasses that are different sizes. Remember, focusing lenses aren't toys. They can cause burns and start unwanted fires if used improperly, so keep them out of the hands of young children and don't leave them laying around out in the sun where they can accidentally start a fire. Okay, what we're going to do is just see how easy it is to burn a hole in ordinary copier paper using different lenses. This is a 75 millimeter double convex lens. It's curved, on, you know, bulging out on both sides like the diagram shows here. 75 millimeter plano convex lens, which means curved on one side, convex, and flat on the other. That's a double concave lens. It's concave both sides. And this is a plano concave lens, means concave one side, flat one side. Ordinary magnifying glass, which is just simply a double convex lens. This is a much larger one. We're just going to show the difference uh, size makes. So double convex both sides. So what we're going to do is just try to, uh, out here it's about uh, 130 June 18th, South Carolina, so it's pretty hot. Sun's pretty intense. It's clear today. Okay, I've been having some significant technical difficulties here. It's so hot today, my iPhone overheated and shut off on me. So I have to redo some of this. And in the process, I chipped one little edge of my double concave, or excuse me, double convex lens. But I think the bulk of the lens is still good, so we'll still be able to use it. So what we're going to do is compare these for um, how easy it is to start fire. We're still in full sun here, and uh, but the camera itself is under some shade. Okay, we'll give this a try. Started fire, starting. Okay, not too much problem there. This is the double convex lens, 75 millimeter. We flip it over. Should be about the same. Yeah, there it goes. Maybe a little bit of difference, about the same. Okay, that was our double convex. Let's try our Plano convex. I'm gonna have to lay this on here just to hold that paper down. Okay. Plano convex is convex one side, and uh, let's clean this lens up a little bit. Convex, we're going to start with convex up, flat down. That's the configuration of this lens. So you can see the focal length is a lot longer than it was with that double convex lens. A little hard to hold it steady. There it goes, it's burning. Took it a little longer, I believe, than the double convex. And let's flip it over. Now, convex is down, flat sides up on this Plano convex lens. Focal length is about the same. Okay, it'll burn, it'll burn that way too, so it'll start a fire either way, flat side up or flat side down. Probably similar in uh, time, which to me is surprising, but it's what we got. Now we're going to try our double concave lens, means concave both sides. Can't do a thing with this, which I didn't expect, because it... A concave lens spreads a light. It doesn't focus it to a point. So this is going to be worthless for solar heating. Just for the heck of it, we're going to try our Plano concave lens. That was the double concave we just tried. In this case, we've got um, Plano concave, so it's, in this case, concave on top, flat on the bottom. 
Let's try this. Let's make sure we got some sun. Spreads the lights, not gonna work. Didn't think it would. Let's flip it over. Now we're concave side down. Doesn't do a thing. It's interesting. Spreads the light about the same. What's what's interesting is the Plano convex and the Plano concave lenses. Not a huge difference compared to the double as far as how they behave with the light. But the concaves are not going to work for solar heating. Now what we're going to do is our standard magnifying glass. This is a 75 millimeter. Should be basically identical to the 75 millimeter double convex because that's what this is. Typical magnifying glass. It's a double convex. We're just going to do it just for the heck of it. See how it does. No problem starting to fire there, which we would expect. Just as a side note, in the winter time, you try to use a magnifying glass, probably won't work as well because the sunlight's not as intense. Okay, that does typical, similar to the this other 75 millimeter, millimeter double convex, which we would expect. Now, let's see if size matters. This is our six inch double convex. See if we can get this in a, no problem at all. Starts it right away. Yeah, size does matter when it comes to a lens for solar heating. No doubt about that. For solar heating, it looks like the double convex is superior to a plane of convex. And uh, both of those are superior to any type of concave, either double or plano for solar heating. So hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please click on the round Anisotropic Plus subscribe button and uh, um, check out our other links. We'd really appreciate it. Thank you.